Hello and welcome to my very first ComfyUI tutorial. Today we'll be looking at FreeU. FreeU is a method that substantially improves diffusion model sample quality at no cost. Uh, so basically the images take the same amount of time but are improved in quality as you can see here. And together we'll be building this particular workflow where we can compare the base model, free you some user settings by the community and my own preferred settings and see how that works out. So this will be a very short video on how to build this workflow. Let's start from an empty uh, workflow. So I like to start by loading my model first. Let's see. Then I like to use DynaVision. Gonna make a small boss. So this is very good to keep your stuff organized, uh, especially when you're building much larger workflows. So I tend to do this just as a good practice. Um, so then we can connect our clip or VAE. There we go. This has a baked VAE, that's why I don't load an external one. For this particular uh, experiment, we want the global seed that controls the seed over all our K samples, because we will be using different K samples. Uh, we also need the clip text encode. We need two of these, so for negative and positive. Uh, maybe let's co configure this first before we duplicate it. So 1396, six. I like to do it this way. I mean, you're free to put your prompt right in here, but I like to convert this into inputs. And then once I have these, uh, let's duplicate this. We can create a primitive to put our prompt in. So here, utils, uh, primitive. So this will be our positive prompt. And we're gonna duplicate this to our negative. So we want also to use the same prompt for both of them. Now, of course, uh, you yourself in your workflow can do however you like. I also have a pre-made prompt that I would like to use for this example. I also like to color code my stuff. So afterwards we know uh, what is what, especially again, when you're building large workflows. I think we're almost ready. We can already connect the case sampler here. We're gonna use the simple case sampler. First one we do is the normal base model. So without any, um, any free you just to see what image it gives you, uh, it gives us, and then we will uh, proceed to install free you. Uh, so we need an empty latent image. I like to use this particular one because it gives me options on the different aspect ratios as I'm myself not too good at that. So, yep, we'll use the normal as the Excel aspect ratio for this one. And I think then we're ready to decode our image and preview it. Let's connect our VAE. I see I also forgot to connect my clip. There we go. And let's run these, make this slightly bigger. There we go. Meantime, we can already build our free U workflows. So we're gonna have three uh, case samples in total. Let's wire them. So the positive, the negative. We're gonna use everywhere the same so we can easily compare what is going on. So now, in order to add free you, mm, interesting hat. Um, okay, so we need three preview images. Let's connect these real quick. So this is two, three, and our VAE. If anyone knows why my menu is so big, please let me know in the comments. I have no idea why that happened. Uh, let's randomize the seed so we get maybe a prettier picture. 
However, let's uh, also introduce FreeU. So FreeU, we want to wire it here. Let's take our model here up just to make sure. Connect. This will be for Nasir, which is a community member that also has tested this extensively and has a recommended set of settings. And this will be my output. So Nasir's recommended settings, if I'm not mistaken, let me see real quick, let me peek. It's 110, 120, 0, 060 and 040. You can find these settings also on the page, on the project page. Um, and also my, my settings, I believe, are also there. 115, I like to use um, 085 and 035 here. Okay, let's see, did we wire everything correctly? So it seems, let's put it to the test and we'll know immediately. See, we already forgot something. There we go. Now let's uh, let's wait for the outcome. It is not looking too bad on the base model itself without even using the refiner. Now let's see how this looks. Let's name this as well. So this is for you. All right, and this will be my settings. Let's put this back to fixed so we don't need to render the first two and just focus on the third one. Oh, last but not least, if you can't find the free U node, it's because you need to update Comfy UI. Uh, and that was it. So this is basically the workflow and how to compare free U to the base model. Feel free to let me know which other workflows you would like to see in the future. Uh, peace, I'm out.